Welcome to General Discharge. Our voices are disguised so we can bring you secret tips and information on just about anything. Today we are going to be covering Field Medical Training Battalion, or FMTB. Before we begin, make sure to give us some support by liking our video and subscribing to our channel. We are trying to get to 10,000 subscribers by the new year. Please help us reach that goal. FMTB is located in two different locations. FMTB West is located in the 21 area in Camp Pendleton, and FMTB East is located in the Camp Johnson area in Camp Lejeune, North Carolina. While there are two locations for this course, they are generally the same. Navy corpsmen go here when they are en route to Marine Corps units, and this course is also a part of the SARC pipeline for those wishing to go to BRC. If you're wondering what the SARC pipeline consists of, we made a video giving you the details. Take a look at it. FMTB lasts 8 weeks and teaches basic field medicine, the basics on how to operate with Marine Corps units, and very basic combat techniques. Classes are a mixture of classroom lectures and hands-on field training. Also, fair warning to those who may show up after some time in the fleet. This place is like a boot camp number two. Your living arrangements will be in squad bays. FMTB West used to be males only, but they recently changed it so both males and females attend it. So each coast is now a mixture of both. If you're reporting to an East Coast unit, chances are you will go to FMTB East and vice versa for the West Coast. Don't be surprised if the government does something that makes no sense though and sends you to FMTB West even though you're checking into Camp Lejeune afterwards. The medical training you receive here is the in-depth training of TCCC, which stands for Tactical Combat Casualty Care. TCCC consists of care under fire, tactical field care, and medical evacuation. All of the training blocks go in-depth on the different aspects of TCCC, giving you some hands-on training. Some of the techniques you will learn here are IVs, cricothyrotomy, needle decompression of the lungs, intraosseous insertions, tourniquet application in the blood lab, advanced patient assessment, and medication administration. The blood lab is where they simulate a combat environment in a controlled room, and you must crawl to your patient, which is a dummy, and apply a tourniquet properly in a certain amount of time. Hands-on training will all be on dummies minus the IVs. You will go through the gas chamber here. It's nothing to worry about, and it is way easier than the one you do at Navy Boot Camp. Since this course is introducing you to the Marine Corps way of life, they teach Marine rank structure, customs, and uniform regulations. You also can't forget now that you'll be under Marine Corps hair regulations because the Navy changed their policy on that last year. Tommy was very upset about that. If you want to laugh, go give it a look. You will also conduct a Marine PFT, CFT, and the Marine Obstacle Course. You will only participate in them and will not be graded on them. We have videos on how to do both the Marine PFT and Marine Obstacle Course, so make sure to give those a look too. You'll be issued your own set of Marine Corps camis and other required uniform items, which you'll keep after the course. Any gear you get for training will be returned upon graduation. There is some basic, and I mean basic, land navigation training. If you're wanting to go to BRC, try to ask as many questions as you can so you can at least get somewhat familiar with it. It's not graded here and they just use it as participation. Other big ticket events that occur are the two, four, six, and eight mile hikes. You have a specific packing list for each hike that make your pack weigh around 50 pounds max. Make sure you have everything in the packing list or else you fail. They check at the end of the hikes. They will definitely stress this to you in training. FMTB West is a lot more hilly than FMTB East, so their hikes are arguably harder. You shoot an M4 or M16 at the gun range, go to the field a few times, and PT in the morning. There are some academic tests here, so make sure to use your free time, or LIBO, to study. Oh, and now that we're talking about LIBO, depending on what coast you're on, and if anyone messes up, you may spend the first few weeks stuck on base. Fleet returnees and those who have been in for a couple years may have some better privileges. You do have weekends off here and will have time to see the area, whichever one you're in. At the end of the course, your culminating medical training event will be at the Multiple Day Final Exercise, or FINEX, where they have trained actors who act as medical patients needing care in a mock combat situation. Everything you learn in the past two months will be tested. If you passed your practical applications, written tests, and FINEX, then you have earned your shield. You will receive it at graduation. Well, that is the down and dirty of Field Medical Training Battalion. For most people who attend this, it will be considered physically demanding. That'll be up for you to decide though. We hope you enjoyed this video and let us know what you would like to see next. All your friends are subscribing to General Discharge and you don't even want to be here.